What's up, y'all? Today's episode, we're going to take y'all to one of the local hot spots around here. And we're going to take a look at some interesting wildlife. And we're going to share this with you guys. So stick around, don't miss the fun. <laughs> got here people is bluebill catfish and if you're a if you're a diver dive that dives for muscle shells for a living then you know what these are and what I'm talking about you're under that murky water and you're trying to find these washboard shells and all of a sudden ping, something runs in through the side of you with one of these guys Do you see? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a picture of this cat. There is one difference that differentiates jaguar versus leopard. Can you guess what that, that is? Correct answer gets the shout out in the next video. One thing makes a difference between a uh, uh, jaguar and a leopard. It's a way to identify which is which. Show me what that way is and you'll get the shout out. Gonna give you another shot of these guys here. The answer is staring you right in the face. One distinctive different. Oftentimes when we come to these zoos, uh, these zoos are set aside for kids and families to go through and uh, to look at and we don't really have anybody to uh, talk about each of these different animals. If you and the family go out to these zoos on your own in your in your state, um, go to the some of the zoo staff and just uh, request, you know, tell them you would like somebody to come and educate you about any one species of animal within that zoo. Because oftentimes these zoos are not just set up to really educate people about it on a day-to-day -day basis. Now they have their 
they have their times when they're set aside that, that you can come and learn, but a lot of people, you know, until they present those dates to the public, a lot of people walk through the zoo ground. This is the fast you can walk sometimes looking at these animals, yet you don't know anything about it because they're just there. You've got these little plaques. Well, it, sometimes it's better to have somebody explain it to you in an exciting way that really, really grabs your interest in that certain animal. I think in the future, I'm going to come to these various, some of these various zoos, and I'm just going to volunteer my time, like you'll find me obviously in the reptile section, I'm just going to volunteer my time into educating people about these animals. Um, so, it's for us to have a better understanding as a whole of animals that surround us, we need to learn about it. You know, there needs to be a whole lot more than just going to a zoo and just rushing through and seeing everything they got and ooh and all, look at that, and you don't really know anything about it. So, do me a favor. When you're out, go out to your zoo and just, just get somebody, ask some of the staff. They've got curators for each department. Hey, say, can I get the reptile here for them? Can I get the reptile curator? Come talk about these animals. I'm sure they'll help you. But anyway, that's more of that food for thought. And my viewers, y'all all know what this guy is. No explanation necessary. Beautiful species he is, that's for sure. Go up in here see some of the some of, some of the buddies hanging around. Some turkey up there. Got one of the girls over here laying down. Some more over here. Awesome stuff. This guy here is a beast. Python buffalo. I'm making a comeback some parts due to conservation efforts. Now you can see them a lot, even driving on the roads of, you know, places Colorado, things, places like that. North American porcupine. Look how big this guy is. He is. Another one here. I have honestly never seen one so big. Maybe sitting there, going. And check this out. A great horned owl. Thing of beauty. That was so I think they went ahead. Weren't those animals cool? I love it. Sorry about the noise on this video. It's I did all I could to pull the background out of the out of doing the editing. The it was it was just it was hectic that day. There was a lot of people there. So sorry once again apologize about the noise. Hope you heard it everything okay. But other than that, these animals were off them. Now I hate to see these guys, even though they're extraordinary to witness in person I hate to see these guys have to be cooped up when I when I operated my rescue I had to have non-native animals there because of course they don't belong in that habitat but it tore me up every day to have to face them in these small you know small enclosures because when you house things like these by by the numbers Unfortunately, unless you've got acres and acres and buildings and buildings to deal with, the more you got, the smaller their living space has to become. 
so you can fit everything in there. But it it just it kills me to have to witness these guys going in circles because they're trapped trying to escape. It, it, it it's heartbreaking. But these guys can't be returned to the wild. Most of them, some of them can, but most of them can't be returned to the wild because they wouldn't be able to survive on their own. But what did you think about that nice kitty? Guess that cat, you'll get the shout out on the next video. Guess what differentiates the Jaguar from the Cougar? I'm Cayman Cody, and don't forget, animals rule, and we'll see you out there.